Hi everybody, I'm Scott Geyer with John Deere, and today we'll show you the difference between forward and reverse tine rotary tillers, so you can decide which one is right for you. To do that, we'll use a John Deere 3043D compact utility tractor and a Frontier RT3062 rotary tiller that features forward rotating tines. We'll also use a Frontier RT3062R rotary tiller with reverse rotating tines so we can compare the results we get with each style of rotary tiller. And to complete each equipment package, we've added a 300E loader and a 49 inch materials bucket. Forward rotating tines, like those on the RT3062, operate exactly as described. They rotate forward on the shaft in the same direction the tractor is traveling. Reverse rotating tines, like those on the RT3062R, also operate exactly as described. They rotate on the shaft in the opposite direction the tractor is traveling. So a tiller with reverse rotating tines needs a bit more horsepower to get the job done but the reverse action makes tilling into harder surfaces easier. But aside from that, attaching and operating these two machines are exactly the same. Okay, let's get started. Step one, Dan will attach the RT3062 using the iMatch Quick Hitch we added to our package. As always, he just keeps his eye on the top hook and everything else falls into place. Then he'll close the locking levers and lower the tiller to the ground. Then he attaches the PTO shaft and safety chain, raises the parking stand, and he's ready to go. We're using this RT3062 rotary tiller in some pretty rough ground. The topsoil is only a few inches thick. It's dry, it's hard, and there's some scrub vegetation. Despite all that, the RT3062 is doing a good job of tilling the soil with the skid shoe set at three inches. Dan will make a couple side-by-side -side passes so we have a good wide swath to look at. Now let's move on to the RT3062R with reverse rotating tines. We've put it in the same ground, right next to the area where we use the RT3062 with forward rotating tines. Dan will make a couple passes on the same ground with the skid shoes set at three inches so we can get a good side-by-side -side comparison. So take a look side-by-side. -side. The ground tilled by the RT3062 with forward rotating tines on the right, and the ground tilled by the RT3062R with reverse rotating tines on the left, and you can see the difference. The ground tilled by the RT3062 has a little finer texture, but it only reached 2 inches in tillage depth with one pass. The ground tilled by the RT3062R appears to have a rougher texture to it, but the tillage depth went all the way to 3 inches in one pass which could account for the slightly rougher texture. We also note the rear forming tailgate was in the same position on both tillers. So the tailgate could be adjusted to keep the soil in the tiller longer for a finer finish. So which style of rotary tiller is right for you? It'll depend on your soil profile, how you adjust the tiller skid shoes and tailgate, and to some degree, your tractor's horsepower. And don't forget, you'll probably go over your tilled ground multiple times to get the soil's texture just the way you want it. Frontier has more than 400 implements and attachments that are available only from your John Deere dealer. The place to go for advice and equipment. Always read the operator's manual before operating any piece of equipment and follow all operating and safety instructions. And remember, for implements that help turn your tractor into the workhorse it was built to be, think Frontier and your John Deere dealer.